Whoa now, whoa now, whoa now. Welcome back to the Black Elf. I'm your boy, Brother Kush. So in this video, I want to continue on with the five myths of, of long-term relationships that are debunked, right? And um, I did number one in the first video. Number one was that, that having different beliefs will ruin your relationship. And the person that wrote the article, the expert, said that that wasn't true. And it was true. See the other video, the previous video on there when I talk about that, but that is true and I explain why in that video. I warm up a little bit in that video, so take your time and listen to it, I'm making some points, but I get to it right away. So anyway, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to receive notifications when I drop more videos. Um, you don't hit the bell icon, you won't be re you won't, um, know when I drop videos because I do not trigger the algorithm. And participate in the channel somehow. Somehow go in the comment section, just drop an emoji. Y'all gonna have to start rocking with me, man. Stop being scared. I mean, look, the rest of the people had their time. They done. They've been talking to y'all for a decade and y'all situation has not gotten better. And nobody's situation has gotten better. The only thing that resulted from them talking is that they've been able to make a decent living off of y'all, off y'all super chats and y'all support. That's the only thing different. But you brothers and sisters are in the same living hell that you were in before. And I'm here to get you out of that hell, but I need to take baby steps, I realize coming straight at you is not working so i'm going to talk about the kinds of things that y'all like and i'm gonna hit you on the back end with some other stuff to move y'all towards a different place in y'all mind so anyway let's go to number two let's go to number two right now right now let me read this over up up here uh, up here it opens up five minutes of long about long-term relationship debunk when it comes to long-term relationships we're faced with all sorts of unrealistic expectations so what's the reality? And in that one, I actually broke down, I gave some examples of the ex unrealistic expectations that we have. And let me rehash that a little bit, right? Be before we get into this. Let me rehash that. Let me give you a different one. Let's take the whole Ray Appeal narrative, right? This thing about with the role of women and the way they see women. And I tell you brothers all the time, man, just like the women say all that crazy stuff about what a man's supposed to do is unrealistic, it's unrealistic on y'all side too. I told y'all a story that time. I did a video talking about this in the early days of my channel, you know what I'm saying? My channel been around probably a year now. And, or close to it. And I remember talking about, I think it's called Crew Season, the name of that, 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 um, that YouTube channel. One of the brothers was talking about how a woman should, should just give him, um, submission when they first meet and the women on the panel was like what you know he said well look say we go to dinner and i drop you off you know my role as a man kicks in immediately i'm standing there watching watch you walk to your door make sure nobody jump out on you hurt you or nothing like that i'm playing my role as a man so you need to play your role as a woman you need to submit well here's the thing first of all a, a woman's role is not to submit that's her nature different thing and she's only going to submit to a man that her nature tells her to submit to so that is not something that you expect that is something that is given but the kush the baddest dude on youtube talking about relationships bro because i had too many bitches bro <laughs> you know what i'm saying, you know what I'm saying? I, i've dealt with way too many women to not know women you know and i'm telling you i'm the dude y'all need to be listening to so i'm going to repeat that for the people in the back Submission is not a role of the female. It is her nature. And she is only going to submit to the man that her nature tells her to. You can't demand that. That is not something you expect. That is something that she gives. And that's just the reality of it. She don't give it. She don't feel like that way towards you. It's just that simple. Some women do submit to men immediately. Some women meet men and all, you know what I mean, met them five minutes ago and man, they'll, they'll jump off a bridge for them. You know what I'm saying? Some women are like that. Just depends on the man. The thing is, y'all are won't change y'all. Y'all are too busy trying to control another human being instead of trying to figure out what should a man do? How should a man be to get women to want to give him that type of response? That's the answer. And that's why y'all come over here to the alpha. Because that's the answer. That's what you're looking for, right? So anyway, I listened to that. First of all, it was bullshit with the dude, the young brothers on crew season said. Because I'm not about to put myself in horns away from no chick I just met. And if she expect that, that is an un, 
That is an unrealistic expectation. Remember, remember when T.I. got online on social media when that, that black chick hanging in deep Ellum down in Dallas got beat up by that white boy? And T.I. go on social media talking about what a gangster's at. Y'all got these white boys. Man, all that old, man, stop huffing and puffing all that bullshit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Stop, stop all that bullshit, bro. Because the thing is, you are, you, what you are saying is that a strange black man is supposed to put himself in home's way for a strange black woman whom he don't even know. And, 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 and given the way we are so divided right now among black men and black women, a black man would be stupid to put himself in harm's way for a strange black woman. That chick might be an intersectional cis and hip trans, trans supporter and feminist, you know, all kinds of stuff, uh, uh, Africana. I mean, she might be into all kinds of male adverse philosophical activities, all kinds of them. And I mean, they're common, they're rampant among black women. You will be crazy to put yourself in harm's way for a strange black woman, brother. Don't do that. Don't do that. T.I. was talking some dumb shit. That's what he was doing, bro. Because I ain't putting myself in harm's way for nobody. Now, I mean, I had to get to that point because I am a kind of a, a, a brave dude, you know what I'm saying? It's just my, my, my character. You know, I am the kind of dude that would see like a sister getting beat up by some white, but I'm, I'm, I'm over it. I'm, I'm going to jump in the fight, you know what I'm saying? And over the years, I had to really talk to myself after meeting so many sisters that just had such horrible disposition towards me for no reason. I mean, I've had sisters where I've spoken to, and like, especially if you're not in the hood. If you're if you're in like mainstream society, you're gonna like just a slight majority white or, or overwhelming majority white. Sisters act bad in these kinds of environments, bro. They don't talk to you, they don't speak to you, they don't look at you, they pretend like they don't see you. So when you are trying to make it sound like that just because she black and I'm black, I'm supposed to go play Captain Saver Who, you tripping on that, bro. That's an unrealistic expectation. <laughs> Example, right? So anyway, the article is not about that. Brother Kush did what he did and I drifted a little bit, but let's get back on point. Okay, the first thing is the word most in that sex is the most important thing. That word shouldn't be there because now th this is a play on words and it's misleading. Because anyone who say that sex is the most important thing, come on, man, you can't you can't listen to nobody who talk like that. Any man or woman say some shit like that, man, you can walk away from them, right? That's just silly, bro. Because I mean, sex is not the most important thing in life, but the importance of sex cannot be understated at all. Part of the reason why people are so angry and miserable is because they don't have an act active enough sex life. And it's not just the, the physical act of sex, it's the intimacy, which is kind of what she said about holding hands, laughing together and cuddling. But it's, it's the intimacy, right, that's missing. See, all of that is a part of sex. You know, one of the things, you know, I was trying to tell these young brothers that, you know, like with me, Get into the physical act of sex at this point in my life. It's you know it's, it's neither here nor there, but everything leading up to it is is is, the, is bliss. You know, I like I like all of the energy transformations that we give as we hug, as we touch, as we embrace. You know, little kisses. You know what I'm saying? I'm a romantic, I guess. You know, I'm thug ass nigga kind of romantic. I mean, that's just how I am, right? I like all that shit. So I don't like messing with women that I don't really like. You know what I'm saying? I, if I'm if I don't find a woman actually attractive. I really don't like to deal with them. So, I agree in part that sex is not the most important thing, but man, the intimacy is what you need. You gotta have that intimacy in your life. I'm telling you. It's the reason why we, we are going downhill as a society. It's no, look, it's no coincidence that everything they do is to destroy the relationship between heterosexual men and heterosexual women. That's not, that's not a coincidence. I mean, from the whole transformer thing to the alphabets, L, G, B, T, A, B, C, D. I mean, that, that, they got an agenda. And you could sit here and say they don't have no agenda. They just want to be left alone. They all left alone. Nobody care about them. The reason why they get so much flack and so much heat is because they have managed to put themselves in positions of influence over policy over law, over social policy, over social laws, over social media. I mean, you gotta watch what you damn say, 
mentioning them people on, on social media. Your videos get flagged, they get taken down. It's crazy, bro. But they can say anything they want about anybody and nothing is done. And nothing is done. Because they are the perpetual permanent victim class. You know what I'm saying? So you, they can't do no wrong, but anything slight that you do or say that opposes them is a violation. It's a violation. But their agenda is to destroy the relationship between heterosexual men and heterosexual women. And I know y'all don't like when I talked about the age of consent. But the reason why they kept raising the age of consent over the years is to destroy the relationship between heterosexual men and heterosexual women. That's what they was doing. These are not little girls. I mean, I, I don't get into this with y'all, man, because y'all y'all, y'all be tripping mind about this stuff, man. You know, all this stuff about a an adult is set by legislation. So just because some white folks sitting in, in, in a position of power, a position of authority over our country, said that and wrote in a, on a line that you are a legal adult at 18. So that makes you an adult. Got nothing to do with your own stages of maturity, your own stages of development, you know what I'm saying? Nothing to do with the individual like God intended. It's what the white man said. And y'all will sit there and stand on that shit and don't see nothing wrong with it, man. Y'all be tripping, bro. But the point is, I did a video some time ago talking about why y'all not going to get no virgins. Because you know you got these red pill dudes talking about how they want virgins. And I'm like, you'll never get a virgin, man, because human nature kicks in. When nature kicks in on these women, they can't marry a man that, that might be stable. He might not have a lot, but he might have his own apartment, got a little job, you know what I'm saying? She can't marry that man. She can't even date that man. She can't get with that man. It is illegal. Even if she's 16, because not all women start having sex at 14. But between the ages of 14 and 17, I, I think about 99% of the women start having sex. So, but they can't, they, still, they can't date a dude that's above 18. So, and, and plus they're being conditioned to only deal with, with males within a certain age range. And they don't respect these men naturally. Remember, remember in the first video I talked about submission. And that's the problem. They don't respect these men enough to submit to these men naturally. They just don't look at men in their age range as being worthy or deserving of submission. They don't do it. They're only going to submit to a man a little bit older. And by, by the time they're 23, 24 years old, they've been conditioned to not mess with men above a certain age. So the point is, it's no coincidence that everything they've done has had an adverse effect on the relationships between heterosexual males and heterosexual females. Yes, it is done deliberately. It is done deliberately. And this is why so many brothers are so angry and so bitter and so toxic. Same thing with the sisters. So many sisters are so angry and bitter and toxic because we don't feel love. We don't have that intimacy. We don't have nobody touch us like they mean it. You know what I'm saying? You know, and so many of you dudes have been have been trained to see women as just objects. Either objects as your maid or objects for sex. You know, so you so you don't you don't deal with women like you mean it. And then you get mad at brothers like me because you see us smashing everything, you wonder why all these women mess with us. They mess with us because when we when we look at the women, them women can tell we mean it. When we touch them women, they can tell we mean it. Look, I might not want to love you forever, but if I'm going to deal with you and you're a female, you better believe when we get together, you're going to feel like I'm in love with you. That, that's how you're going to feel. Because at that moment, I'm going to be in love with you. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, I like the energy myself. So at that moment, I'm going to be in love with you. So the sex is going to be off the chain. And that's just how we roll, you know what I'm saying? So intimacy, companionship, and all this stuff, and sex are different elements of the same. Intimacy, I would say, includes it all. Intimacy. A relationship can thrive with intimacy alone, right? And you might not have a lot of physical sex all the time. You know what I'm saying? It be like that sometimes. So, But it's the intimacy. that That's what you really need, you know what I'm saying? I, I, and I hope I'm saying that in a way where it's understandable, you know what I'm saying? I hope... I hope I'm getting that out right. Sex is important. Intimacy is hell of important. Communication is hell of important. So I think I'm going to end it there. You know what I'm saying? So that, I, I don't know what she meant by most. 
I wouldn't have put the word most in there because to me that's being misleading to say sex is the most important thing. Of course that's not true. Of course that's not true. You know what I'm saying? So that was an easy one to debunk. You know, but anyway, I'm gonna come back with the next one on the next video, number three. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, Brother Kush, aka the Blackout Salon.